Hi, how are you, Banza? How are you? Thank you very much. I'm going to the BBC uh, C Lorna event. Ooh, I am looking fresh to death. Reggie, hook me up. I'm so, so happy. What is up, beautiful people? Now, people always stop me in the street and they say to me, hey, aren't you? And I say, yes, it's me, Tool. Thank you so much for tuning into my YouTube channel. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and while you're at it, that thumbs up button. And it's free to subscribe. So, and it's lots of fun. It's really, really lots of fun on this channel. Um, and if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back, baby. I've realized that my vlogs are long. Um, so I am putting chapters down below so you have easy access to this part that you want to see or re-watch etc. Um, but I'm now at the Four Seasons about to enjoy the BBC event Homegrown which is presented by Lorna Maseko. So let's get started. BBC Lifestyle have been absolutely phenomenal. Um, I think it's one of the only shows that I've seen in South Africa that features the soil. So we start talking to farmers about ingredients, about produce, about indigenous ingredients here in South Africa. We feature some amazing chefs in this country um, that are doing phenomenal things. I learned so much. I think I gained about five kilos of eating so much of the show. So this is five kilos on or less. <laughs> and, um, and then kind of bringing it back to the home cook and showing you how you take all these amazing ingredients and put them into your own kitchen. So I think it's the only show that I've seen in the country that features a 360 view mm. of the food circle, which is absolutely amazing. Um, it was great working with the team at Rapid Blue. They were fantastic. Um, the food was amazing. Um, I discovered so many amazing ingredients in this country that need to be celebrated and people need to put on their plates. And I think that's a beautiful thing. I travel around the world all the time and people ask me, so what are South African flavors? What do South Africans eat? And I feel like Homegrown Taste South Africa really delves into that and allows people to see who are we from a culinary perspective. And so I hope you love the show as much as I love it. I hope you enjoy it. And, um, and then you learn a thing or two, you know, hopefully we'll be back with season two, but season one was absolutely spectacular and we really just touched like the tip of the iceberg. There's so much more to South African cuisine and that's my dream, to put South African food on the map and I feel like this show really, really does that. I think it's not going to just air here, I think it's going to probably air globally as you know Lorna is an international brand and, um, and that's what we do, it's about putting South Africa on the map. It's great that we know sushi, it's great that we know tacos, 
it's great that we know jollof rice, but it's about time that we know South African food and we celebrate it as much as we love it. And South African food is beyond just salt, water, and an ingredient. There are many other interesting things that make our food diverse and make our food absolutely amazing. I love food, I'm passionate about food, and I hope this, and I'm passionate about South Africa, and I hope the show really just does that, makes you proud to be South African, and when you watch it, you like, if you don't know what South African food is, watch Homegrown Taste South Africa. You'll get you'll get a, a bit of it and, and enjoy it. So thank you so much for coming. I'm sure you have some questions, which I'm more than willing to answer. And um, yeah, I guess we'll get going with the question and answer. And that is a wrap on the BBC event. It was lovely. It was lovely to see Lorna. I haven't seen her in such a long time. Um, her show premieres on BBC Lifestyle. 23rd of March at 8 p.m. I will have all those details linked down below in the description. Make sure you tune in and watch all the amazing products and the cuisines from all over South Africa um, and sh how she uses them to make amazing dishes because, you know, Lorna is a culinary, culinary queen. All right, let's get home. So, you know, <laughs> I had a little bit of a rant in last week's vlog about the receptionist at the hair salon. My problem is, is that you increase the price without letting me know, A. B, is that now you're going to have an argument with me about it, which I find beyond infuriating. So... Obviously, I went to go get my hair did today, this morning. And before I could kick up a fuss or be a Karen or anything, she, when I went to go pay, she said, I must apologize because I was wrong and I did overcharge you and I'm going to credit you today for your hair. I didn't even open up my mouth. I didn't even say a word. It was as if she w watched last week's vlog. Um, and... I really do appreciate that. Um, and the way I was going to approach it, I was going to ask her saying, so do you remember when you charged me 500 Rand or so? And then look at the receipts now from the previous times that I've been here. So all's averted, everyone's fine, everyone's happy. Um, I went to the new space uh, upstairs in uh, Michelangelo Towers and Reggie did a great job, as usual. Uh, today's event was super fun and super lovely. It was lovely to see Lorna um, and just uh, catch up with her. Uh, she's looking great. Um, so it was amazing to see. This looks recyclable. What is this? Okay, so the this is a map of all the products. Um, and the guests that are going to be on the show, which include Pearl Muriadie, uh, Carabo Papi, uh, Joanne Strauss. Um, yeah, so there's, a, there's a, quite a bit of people um, that, is going to, that are going to be on Kaim Tetua, yeah, um, on the show. And, oh, and then these are uh, recipes and for um, the, some of the um, dishes that she makes. So that's lovely on recyclable paper. Love to see it. Um, oh, 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 oh. Uh, So this is Linden Loaves. They apparently started this business during lockdown and um, it's sourdough. Um, so I know what I, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> um, I know, uh, what I'm going to be putting avocado toast on and Bongi Bees is a black owned female business amazing and I've run out of honey for my lemon and ginger honey tea so this is perfect um, oh this is a, an amazing story um, Jabu's Acha he started selling on the side of the road and now he is a business that exports not only to all of South Africa, 
but to Botswana and surrounding countries too. Amazing. It, it makes me super, super proud. So uh, definitely check out these brands and these products. I'm going to link uh, all the information down below what of, of what I can find. And this is Flowerstone Gin, um, which is lovely. There's a little bit of gin there. What a nice um, gift pack. Um, thank you so much, um, Atmosphere and BBC Lifestyle. It was a lovely event. It's always great to be at the Four Seasons. And that is it. Let's put the stuff away and do some work. Also, I mean, I do love my outfit. And I was like, I don't want to go home and work. <laughs> I look too cute to, you know, go home. Do you ever feel like that, that you're like, my outfit's so great. I'm not ready to go home yet. A lot more, a lot more people must see this, right? <laughs> but one has to work to make this happen. Right, my apologies because after reading the recyclable paper, it's actually um, on close inspection. It says. Once you've read this letter, please plant this paper and watch it grow into a veggie mix of lettuce and carrots. How cool is that? That is so amazing. That is really, really lovely. Um, well done, BBC Lifestyle, for doing that. Amazing. Uh, fantastic. Although I don't have, like, a plant bed to do that in. So I might gift it to someone um, that does. I actually honestly hate when load shedding is 6.30, no, 6 until 8.30. Because that's like dinner time and when I want to chill and I'm finished doing working, I've just been working and obviously I haven't charged my phone. Well, yeah, at least, and at least I do have a power bank. So I'm 30 minutes until load shedding. I just need, I need to find a solution for this. Yeah, I need to find a solution for this because it is not going to go away. Low chain is not going, going away, so I must just find a solution. Anywho, um, yeah, but I did download episodes of In Inventing Anna, which I have been watching. I've watched the first two episodes, so I'm going to watch two more episodes now during load shedding um, and try even get in a chapter of my book. Okay, so load shedding has now hit. Um, I've put my put on something a lot more comfortable, a hoodie, my favorite hoodie and sweatpants, um, and poured myself a glass of wine. And I'm going to read my book while it's still a little bit light out. And then I'm gonna watch episodes of Inventing Anna in the dark. Tando, I have this sourdough loaf. What do they call this? Yeah, a bowl. A bowl of sourdough. <laughs> a bowl of <laughs> sourdough. That's the first time I've ever heard that. Okay, so what do I need? I think so, yeah. Okay, so I need to actually buy a bread knife because that's something I do not own. Yeah. Okay. To get through that crust. Yeah, and it will be great for Avo Toast tomorrow morning. Yay. Don't no. forget to store it cut side down. What? That's most important. I mustn't what? Don't forget to store it, store it cut side down. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So I must cut it and then put it like <laughs> yeah. this. Yeah. Do la fats. Okay. Okay, cool. <laughs> Just the normal morning in my complex. <laughs> Leaf blowers, grass choppers, what, what? Isn't it fun? Um, I had a delivery, but I was in the shower. So, let me go get another day, another delivery. Morning. Morning. Oscar, do you have the parcel for me? Yes. Oh, this is not heavy. Okay, fantastic. Nice Thank you. you. Okay. Who's this from? Hmm.
So the gift that I got was from Google. They always send the nicest drops to me. Look at this tote bag. I actually really love it. There's this print. Very, very nice. And it's all about Mali, uh, the country Mali. Um, they are digitizing all um, their museums, music, monuments, and modern art um, on Google. I will link it down below and you guys can go take a look at this website. Um, and it's very cool because um, you can view the museums and all the mosques and everything online, which is amazing. So I'm intrigued to know what this is. Um, need butter, honey, and sesame seeds. Is that it? Hmm. But knowing me, I'll mess that up. <laughs> um, but I want to see... Oh, so that's part of the tea. And, okay, it's delicious sticks I'm reading here. Okay. So, oh, so you know what it's like. Uh, peanut brittle, but with just sesame seeds. If I'm not mistaken. I'm going to read up on it and see what it's about. Anyways... I have uh, load shedding now at 10. And yeah, so it doesn't help for me to be here. Uh, so I'm gonna go to mesh. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Good. I would love one of those amazing chai lattes you guys make, please. They're so good. Please, thank you. I feel like I've been spending a lot of time in Rosebank. I might as well just live here, right? Um, yeah, my video is exporting, so you would have seen the video last week, the vlog last week, and I just thought I would take a walk while that's happening. Um, I actually want to see if I can go into the gallery, if it's open. Should we try? I guess I'm in luck. The gallery is open. So let's take a look at some art. Everard Reed is actually one of my favorite galleries in Joburg. So I'm gonna show you some of my favorite pieces that I see here. Now 
Now that was a fun, thank you so much, a fun boost of serotonin, like stumbling across an art gallery. Oh, that, yeah, I mean, the pieces in there were stunning. Um, and my favorite was the Brett Murray. It's called Cock. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Uh, what else did I enjoy? The sculpture, the abstract sculptures. I, I do love a sculpture, I think. Um, that's one of my favorite mediums. I'm not an art aficionado, but I like pretty things, you know? Um, yeah, it's really, really awesome, you know? I just finished having the nicest walk on in Rosebank rather. Um, it was lovely. Yeah. It was nice to just get out of the office and walk for a bit while my video's exporting. Um, yeah. But I was tempted to like grab a snack and come on back. Joking. Um, I was tempted to grab fast food but I have lunch at home so I'm going to go home and eat the lunch that I bought already um, so I got back to my desk and <clears throat> my video is still exporting <sighs> although it's um, making headway and it should be done momentarily but I'm starving so I literally just convinced myself to <laughs> go to get takeout but I'm not gonna get like fast food i'm gonna go get um actually i really want nyc slice oh, i really want pizza from there or should i go to the pantry let's see how far i can yeah what how far the walk is <laughs> oh, yeah. tony braxton Okay, so I got the chicken, uh, which looks yummy. Looks like some peanuts, and it's on a bed of rocket, so we'll see. And then I also got tomato, uh, burrata, and this looks like goat's cheese vibes with uh, plants. So I'm excited, I'm starving. So I'm excited to try this. Literally, I am like beyond annoyed and upset. I need to get Final Cut Pro because Adobe Premiere Pro is the ghetto. I waited so long for this video to export, yet it failed. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna need to upload this video tomorrow. <sighs> yeah. Sorry, if you were waiting for Thursday for it to be loaded. Anyways, let's get home. I'm done for the day. Yeah. It is five minutes to 6 p.m. and I have load shedding at 6 p.m. I don't feel like being here as the sun goes down without any electricity. So, I think I need to go to Willie's. Yeah. That's just... Yeah, the worst time to have load shedding is 6pm until 8.30. No, and also during the day. I just... Yeah. It's just super frustrating. Anyways. Um... Yeah, I think I'm going to go do a little bit of shopping, go to Santa. Uh -huh.
got home to darkness. At least it's only for another 30 minutes or 15, even less. So, yeah. Um, got a couple of goodies from Woolworths, as you guys saw. So, but I'm so tired. I don't know why I am so tired. Like, my legs are, are kaput. Um, which is very, very weird. But yeah, I feel like I'm going to rest until the lights come back on and then I can make my ravioli. Come on, this is Bring a medium-sized pot of lightly salted water to the boil. Remove product from all the packaging. Do not separate pockets from one another. Empty pasta into a pot and bring back to a gentle simmer. Do not boil. Okay. Um, the lights are back, as you can see. And I'm about to make myself some dinner. Um, beef ravioli. In English. Beef ravioli with Napolitana sauce. Um... I've been watching Inventing Anna, uh, which is a Shonda Rhimes production. The acting is terrible. <laughs> Julia Garner is a great actress. Um, I remember seeing her in The Ozark, and I also saw her in Dirty John, um, and she was fantastic in uh, on those shows. Um, Inventing Anna, it's hard to keep a German accent, but she does a pretty good job at it. Um, I'm enjoying her um, character. Well, I mean, yeah. Um, I can't stand that journalist. Oh, uh, her acting is the worst. Honestly, it's like infuriating. Um, but why I, the main reason why I wanted to speak about this show is because it makes me miss New York City so much. I miss New York beyond, like beyond. It's, it's insane I love how much I miss New York and just seeing all the buildings, all the streets. 11 Howard is 12 George in the show and 11 Howard is in Soho. And I remember going to Le Cucu, which is in the hotel, um, for brunch while I w was on an HBO press trip. And A, it is the hardest table to get in New York. Uh, B, it was amazing. It was phenomenal. And we had just a great time, time there. My sister even uh, uh, surprised me um, while we were having brunch there so it was lovely um and i just miss the energy of new york i love it so much um if you know me you'll know that my favorite cities are new york and mykonos so well mykonos is a town but um yeah those are my favorite favorite places but i am on episode five right now and i'm gonna stick it out it's been my load shedding series um, and I've enjoyed it. I really have enjoyed it. myself some avo toast this morning and be the basic bitch millennial that I am but 
I was cleaning and do my thing and 10 o'clock arrived and then I had load shedding. I have load sheddings right now. So you can do avocado toast, but it's gonna be hard to toast, right? Um, such is life. And yeah, I'm just over this load shedding. But as I said, I need to find a solution to it. Anywho, oh, let me tell you, that beef ravioli that I made last night, honey, mm, mm, it slaps. Woo. I ain't no cook, honey, but that beef ravioli, those, these are not aligned. I don't want to break them. Oof. Um, that beef ravioli, sweetie, sweetie, was so good. Um, yeah, had a great dinner last night, but yeah, um, I'm going to meet you later with Nikki. Uh, we have some exciting things happening, uh, which I will share with you guys in due course. Um, and it might even involve some of you. So, which is very, very, very exciting. I am going to go to Starbucks <laughs> and grab some coffee and do some work until my meeting in Santon because I don't want to go to Rosebank and then come to Santon. I just want to be in one place. So let's go to Santon. Hi, how are you? Good, thanks. And Siki, can I please get the iced vanilla latte? Is it good? Grande? Yeah. Awesome. Um, yeah. Tools, T W O L Z, please. Yeah. That's it. Um, yeah. I need to put this on the app. I'm sure you guys are busy during load shedding, huh? I am beyond hacked off right now. Exported my last week's vlog and wanted to upload it. No sound. It's just the audio from my camera. No music with the vlog. I'm so sick and tired of Premiere Pro. I'm like livid. But. I'm, gonna, I'm determined to get this vlog out. Anyways, I'm on my way to my meeting at Tang. So, I'm taking you guys along. just walked into the diamond walk and it seems like Alexander McQueen is coming to Santon City. Did anybody know this? I am back home from my meeting at Tang with Nikki and it was great. It's, it was 15 minutes because we know what's expected. It's, it's, he is just amazing to work with let me tell you because he gets we get each other and when it comes to creativity and what we want to do um so i'm super excited about working on this project with him it's going to be amazing and yeah you guys are going to see just the amazingness that is nikki van der Waals. um and yeah it was just lovely you know i love working with creative people that when no is not the answer, it's it's like, how can we execute this? Um, so I love that. Anyways, um, I'm gonna see if I can get this video done and uploaded before I head out tonight. I wasn't joking about this lighting in my bedroom. 
um, it's half past five, so it's a little bit after golden hour, but it's beautiful up in here. Anyways, um, I am on my way to go watch Batman, the new Batman. I feel like everyone's doing that tonight. Um, I'm going to meet Pedro for a little snack before, and then we are going to go see the new series installment of the series and i hope it's great i'm not a huge robert patterson fan but i do love these marvel dc comics action films um i'll let you know how it is after Listen, don't waste your time with Batman. It's, it was all right. It was a six out of 10. I don't feel like it was my favorite Bat Batman film. I expected so much from it, but it was a complete letdown. Two and a half hours, or I think three hours of meh, meh. It wasn't great. A. Robert Pattinson is not Batman. He's scrawny. He, he's just not the Batman look. Batman is great as Ben Affleck. When he started speaking, I was like, no, 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 no. You need to go like four octaves lower. And also just the fact that he's, his brand of Twilight overshadows anything else that he does so it's frustrating because he's a male Christian Stewart and yeah I think it's the first thing I've seen him him act in and it was completely average I did love Zoe Kravitz Zoe Kravitz was amazing I'd, I'd watch her in her own cat Catwoman film <sighs> The lighting for the film was very dark. It could have been brightened a little bit and it needs a little bit more peaks and valleys with the lighting as well uh, because it was one tone throughout. Um, there were amazing scenes. Um, I'm not going to spoil it for you. Um, there were amazing scenes. If you're going to watch it, if you're going to waste two and a half hours of your time watching it, um, I'm not going to spoil it for you. There were amazing scenes, um, fight scenes, uh, but not incredible. And there's, there's moments where it's very beautifully picturesque that they did with the color red. Um, I, I really love that. Um, also, the Batman films generally sometimes have an element of sexiness where uh, Batman as himself... Uh, John Wayne, Bruce Wayne, whatever his name is, is in a dinner party and it's sexy and that's when usually Catwoman is introduced to us or they meet in some sort of way like that. So um, I missed that. There wasn't any of that. And plot lines, storylines, it was a bit of a letdown, to be honest with you. Um, mm. I don't know. So, if you guys see it, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Or if you've seen it, and make sure you... And if you've seen it, feel free to let me know your thoughts about it. Um, yeah. That's my opinion. <laughs> um, I, it is 10.30 now. Let me see if this video from last week's vlog um is up yeah I, 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 you've heard this com my, me complaining about this all all video throughout the whole video so let me just leave it um i'm gonna i think i might watch a little bit of youtube and then go to bed
All right. But I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. I have brunch with Daniel right now and I'm already running late. So let's not waste any time and let's get out of here. Back home after a fantastic brunch with Pablo. Pablo Santon is always one of the go-tos for brunch in the city. And we had a great time. Um, yeah. I'm actually a little bit tired, so I'm gonna hang out for a bit. You know my usual on a Saturday, watching RuPaul's Drag Race. And um, yeah, I think the final installment of Miami Housewives is out. So I'll watch that before my evening plans. So yeah, I'm, I feel like it's gonna rain. As you know, Joburg's weather has been weird as of late. Um, but it was lovely to see Daniel. Um, yeah, it was fantastic. Anyways, let's chat to you a bit later. Finished. No, 60, 63%. You're killing me. You're honestly killing me. An hour and 44 minutes left. I mean, at least the video is fine. Let me just double check that it's not uploaded. Yeah, it's still 60, 64%. Anyways, um, okay. So I've given you the journey of me and Adobe Premiere Pro and up, getting last week's vlog, vlog up. So essentially we will get it up by tomorrow, which is Sunday. And that's fine. It still counts as last week. Um, that's not the only best news that I have a working video and that it's now uploading. The other great news is that I fit into my black pants, which is amazing. Um, tonight, I'm going to the test kitchen carbon. I keep on calling it carbon. Carbon is <laughs> a restaurant in New York. It's an amazing restaurant, uh, but no, I'm not, I'm like, so in, like my mind is so uncut jams. Anyways, um, I read uh, the newsletter about what uh, Luke Dale Roberts said about the new Test Kitchen. Test Kitchen is very famous in Cape Town. I've never been to that one, which I'm sad about, but... I don't know if it's still open, but now Test Kitchen has opened in Joburg and that is just unbelievable for Joburg food scene. Um, like with Short Market Club right there in Rosebank along and there goes the electricity just as timed. But even though I was trying to upload a video, whatever, I still have you guys here. Um, where was I? Taste Kitchen coming to Rosebank along with Short Market Club there 
makes it amazing for and for the Joburg food scene. I feel like the Joburg food scene is really being um oh well there goes my laptop uh is amazing i wanted to tell you what luke dale roberts said in his release about the um restaurant here i think it was something where it was amazing it said something where the restaurant scene is in ashes and now it's rising from that like carbon is you can make something from ashes and it becomes carbon and i think that is phenomenal anyways um with that being said let's get going i'm ready i'm done and i need to go put on some dior oud espahan and get to the test kitchen so let's go Simba helps me at the Blockman. You can view my video over here um, where I was at the Blockman and he, this was the kind gentleman that helped me there. But now he's at the test kitchen, so come see him here. Thank you. <laughs> So I'm, let me start with the billionaires. You guys, that tastes like I'm on a yacht in Saint Tropez. That is iconic. Well, not photoshopping my photos. I don't need to photoshop my photos on a yacht in. And this is a passion fruit and plum. Yeah, this is definitely worth a second date. No, no. The person that you bring to this place is a third date person. Not a second date, not a first date. Third date. <laughs> Right. 
You're, you're right. Bianca, this is iconic. This is amazing. The ghetto that I just drank up. Anyways, unbelievable. had one of the most amazing experiences of food at the test kitchen. It was fantastic. Uh, test kitchen carbon was phenomenal. Uh, my favorite dish actually was the tortellini. I loved it so much. It was amazing. Um, but it is a definite third date event or space. And I would love to know what you guys think about it when you come. So let me know what you think. Uh, but until then, um, I want to say thank you so much for tuning into this video. I really appreciate it. And I love you so much. Um, I will see you in the next one. Until then, good night. God bless. Goodbye. <laughs>